You've probably seen channels like Paw Print Productions, with millions of views on their animal transformation videos. These videos mix things like candy, space, liquid, fire, and gems to create cool, eye-catching content. Today, I'm going to show you how to make videos like these. I'll walk you through creating the right prompts, generating images with AI, and turning them into videos that people will want to share. For those of you new here, welcome. I'm Gary, a content creator and expert in AI video making. I can help you create viral videos like this on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. If you have a video idea you'd like me to reveal, just leave a comment and I'll explain how to make it happen. Now, let's dive into today's topic. Just like any AI video, the first and most important thing is that you need to know the right prompts to create eye-catching images like this. I, like you, don't know exactly what commands the video creator used, but that's not a problem. First, you need to pick an image that you like from the video. After that, I use ChatGPT to create the prompt based on that image. Specifically, I type the following into ChatGPT. Provide a detailed description of this image, capturing as many elements as possible. Include specifics about the colors, textures, any people or objects present, and the setting. Describe the atmosphere, any notable features or interactions, and the overall mood of the scene. ChatGPT will give you a detailed prompt, but it might not be 100% accurate just yet. Next, I need to test creating the image with the prompt provided by ChatGPT. To generate the image, I use Leonardo AI, which I personally believe is the best text-to-image tool available right now. If you're not familiar with it, feel free to try it out yourself. In Leonardo AI, copy the prompt from ChatGPT and paste it into the prompt box on the image creation screen. Next, select the model Phoenix 1.0, which is the latest model. Keep the prompt enhance, style, and contrast settings as the default. For generation mode, choose Ultra. Set the image dimensions to 9 by 16 and select a number of images as 4. After that, click Generate. Once the image is generated, you'll see that it's already quite close to the original image. If you want it to match even more closely, do the following. Click on the image icon, choose image to image, and upload the image you just created. You can adjust the strength setting. In this example, I chose 0.3. The higher the strength, the more the generated image will resemble the original. You can generate several times to get the best possible image if you want. Repeat these steps for any other images, and you'll have the result you're looking for. Next, I'll use these images to create a stunning video. To do that, I use Kling AI. It's an amazing tool with very high quality right now. In Kling AI, select AI videos and choose Kling AI version 1.6. I also have a detailed video reviewing Kling AI 1.6 which makes it one of the best AI video making tools available on the market right now. Next, upload your image. For the prompt box, this is optional. On the first try, I suggest leaving it blank. For creativity, the higher this value, the more the output will follow the prompt. In this example, I chose 0.5 as the default. Select professional mode and set the duration to five seconds. For motion brush and camera movement, those options aren't available in version 1.6, so don't worry about them for now. After setting everything up, click Generate and review the output. The result is already looking pretty good, but I want to improve it even more. For my second try, I used the following prompts. The lens rotates, capturing dynamic angles. For the bird, the dog runs toward the viewer as the camera slowly pulls back. For the dog, and for the vulture, I used animate the bird's colors to cascade like water droplets in slow motion. The results are much better now, and the animations are looking more dynamic and engaging. Now, we move on to the final step. I'm going to use CapCut to combine and edit the video. In this example, I created a few additional clips and imported all the necessary resources into CapCut, including the audio, animal clips, materials, and the clips generated from Kling AI. I adjusted the position of the clips to match the audio, created transitions, and so on. This process is pretty simple, so I won't go into too much detail because I'm sure you can handle it yourself. And now, let's take a look at the final video I've created.
If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to ring the bell for notifications on future tutorials. Let's create more viral content together. See you in the next video.